welcome back youtube got a special guest today we got we got top shot coming in from server 446 what's going on top shot man how are you hey freedom how you doing good to hear from you yeah man appreciate you taking the time to hop on we had a we had bk on uh, a few weeks ago he was uh talking a bunch of smack about you so i wanted to give you a chance to <laughs> to, to respond no i'm just kidding not bk i yeah. uh, had nothing but nice things to say about you man although I heard you're the guy taking all the subsidies over there. You're the, you're the guy with the lucky tickets, right? <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you about that. So I've been fortunate. And I've won almost. I've won every time, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt sorry for him. So I told him how I do it. Mm -hmm. And the last gold jab came up and I wanted it bad. And I lost to him. And I had 56%. Wow. So he used my technique against me. So. Oh, that's what you get Moral for being nice. Story. <laughs> Moral of the story, no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky on the golds, man. Um, I don't know if I got designated I to be like this, the server hero, but you know, people that win golds, they're pretty eager to, to trade them. It's a big responsibility when you got those. So you're a target. You know, People come after you. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, yeah, shit, they do. Yeah. And saying, hey, trade me or I'm going to kill you. That works too, right? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying it. It's not working. I'm trying it. Yeah. So um, what, what part of the world are you at? I'm from uh, uh, Michigan, just north of Detroit. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I don't think I've, I've met a player from Michigan, although I'm sure there, there's plenty. I'm but sure. you're, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, you know, a lot of people, you know, you're uh, eight bill power, huge man. Woo. Like you've, you've grown tremendously, man. That's two. awesome. I have, I have two accounts at 8Bill. Two accounts at 8Bill. I stand corrected. So Yeah, I got a C1 account. Same. They're both exactly the same. I, I yeah. play them both. Awesome. Awesome. So one rule of Ebony, you never ask a player what they spend. It's, just, it's like asking a woman how much they weigh. <laughs> it's just, yeah. you, you, you don't do it. But uh, a lot of players are probably curious, like your career or background, like professional industry, like what, uh, what line of work are you or were you in? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm retired now. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably go back to do something maybe next year, mm -hmm. but I was in construction. I was a uh, director of uh, gallery development for a pretty large company in the U S mm -hmm. and uh, I retired in May. Awesome. So I was traveling all over the country i had projects in five or six different cities so mm -hmm. the game was perfect for when you're on the plane you know it was makes the travel when you're in the airports it you know it's a time kill sure dream so it was good that's that's how i got hooked on the game right yeah i gotta go with covid on my end and if well, a facebook ad social distancing and you know Feeling, I guess it's the same point, feeling time, right? <laughs> Killing time. Well, well, I, I, yeah, I found the ad. I was I was watching college football in December mm -hmm. and like December, right before the bowl season, like December 29th. Mm -hmm. And I saw this ad on Facebook or Instagram or something. I'm watching college football. I said, oh, look, free, free, ga free game for mm -hmm. puzzles. This is cool. I'll play this. I'll watch it during halftime. And I'll, so at halftime, I download it, you know, it's, Oh boy. I was wrong. <laughs> Nothing to do with the puzzles. Not, not far from being free. So I was wrong on both accounts. So that's I, I how, I, that's yeah. how I joined. I don't think any player that, regardless of how you got here, right? I don't think any player fully understands like what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> uh, oh, like, you, you go back to December, like for me, it was September, roughly about a year ago. Um, yeah, it's uh, I don't regret it. It's a lot of fun. Um, definitely one of the more challenging and like I wouldn't say emotional games, but it's definitely it's unique, man. I've never experienced anything like it. You know, it's definitely it's it's one of a kind for sure. Oh, it's it's incredible. It's it's uh, everything in the game has a purpose, right? So, mm -hmm. like I remember when I started, like everybody else, I never had enough iron. Always had too much rock. Never enough iron. Sure. And, and now, you know, then all of a sudden, never enough rock, way too much iron. I got, you know, 40 billion iron and, you know, no rock. So it's amazing how everything in the game you think is, oh, this is insignificant. It all is important. 
I mean, yeah. so, um, and then I think the best thing about the game that I enjoy is the people you meet from all over the world. Yeah. It's so cool. Like in our Alliance on, on both my servers, you know, I meet people from that. There's no way I would ever have met somebody from Beirut yeah. or I would meet somebody from Saudi or I'd meet somebody from one of, one of the guys on one of my servers is a mountain climbing guide. Nice. He, he climbs K2. Like who, how would I ever meet? A guy like that. it's really interesting i meet people from you know i get the hate mails and turn into friends with all these people from battlefields and i meet people from every different country and and everybody's got a common interest and it's actually it's actually really really kind of neat it's really really cool yeah there's a it seems to be very little middle ground it's like you have a very sophisticated you know, percent of the player base, you know, that are, you know, just awesome people and all kinds of, you know, not only locations, but different, you know, industries and backgrounds. And then, then you have the other side of the coin, <laughs> like what I refer to as like the world chat people, right? <laughs> like the, yeah. the ones, the ones oh, yeah. causing headaches and drama, you know, but oh, uh, yeah. 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 So, so top shot. Yeah, you know, where's the name come from? I, me personally, I think of golf when I see that. I'm not saying that's related to it. No, but I, no, top shot. Yeah, no it's uh, I used to um, I shot skeet for okay, okay. 30 years. Oh, wow. Uh, multi-time world champion, 20, 30 time All-American. Wow. Uh, was pretty heavy into it, very heavy into it. And so I just that's kind of use it for a bunch of things. And that's just the n name I put when I joined and I just kept it. Now I use it on everything. Gotcha. So my alts are called like no shot or little shot or <laughs> slight shot. <laughs> so <laughs> nice, nice. Um, I was going to ask you what got you into Ebony um, originally and how long you've been playing. I'm not sure if you already answered that. December was it when you first got into it? Or yeah, like, you aware like of January, it? Yeah. For, like just before the Jan the the. Um, college bowl game so like and the very end of december our server started i think like december 28th i was mm -hmm. i joined like a week later well i gotta tell you i mean based on looking at your your server here i mean you got the shalon castle here you got bk to your left um you picked a pretty good server <laughs> yeah we got, uh, we got fortunate right well yeah it it uh it was always uh so when i started coming up the uh i remember i i didn't know anything i didn't i wasn't in an alliance i didn't know anything about the game i didn't know what nap was i didn't know what an r4 was i didn't know what an r5 i didn't know anything so yeah. this is about a month in right mm -hmm. and i'm about maybe 20 million power 40 million power and i just it's a war game so i just hit everything right i did nap nothing i don't care if it bubbles down i'm gonna hit it i would just that's what this is the war game yeah and and uh so i I, I I was educated on what what nap was when I got zeroed by the biggest guy on the server, mm -hmm. and then I was asked to join an alliance. You know, and I didn't know I was in an alliance that Ebony kind of puts in, like you know, if you auto join an alliance, yeah. I got in some, but it really wasn't an alliance. We didn't even use alliance chat. I didn't know anybody. I just so I was in one just kind of so I, so I couldn't get hit when we were in nap. Mm -hmm. after i figured out what nap was and then so then i got recruited by one of the bigger alliances at the time yeah and uh and man i learned so much right and then and bk we got recruited in the other big alliance so it's kind of like the hatfield and mccoy's between us right so we both kind of grew at the same rate well his alliance they were kind of like the leaders of the server mm -hmm. they go to me you know top shot you got to stop growing i'm maybe I got to about 400 million. Mm -hmm. so we're going to, we're going to go against SVS because of your size. We're going to go against some guy that's two or three or two, two billion going to come in and just squash everybody. And that's when I said, well, that's God, that's who I want to be. <laughs> I want to be that guy. You mean you could do that? So I, uh, they tried to get me to stop growing and I took it the other way. And then BK just, he's so competitive. He just couldn't yeah. stop you know he's like right okay he always say we just slow down a little bit and i'm like yeah i'm slowing down and, and i'm gonna stop at four i said at four billion i'm done done nothing and then and then every time i go in the battlefield 
So I check after halfway through or and at the end what troops I'm missing. And I'm like, oh, I need more of these. Oh, I need more of these. <laughs> so next thing you know, I'm eight billion. Yeah, so, that's crazy. Yeah, I think um, yeah, we met in All Stars on a line call back yeah. in May. I think you're like two billion, something like that, a little over two billion. Yeah, like two point four or something like that for the first All Stars. And I didn't know anything then either, right? So I learned the first SBS, I learned so much. Yeah. And, and I met the people that, that, that got me into joining the account on 110, which I learned a tremendous amount on 110 mm-hmm. um, because those guys are so good. You know, they're, they've been around for years and they're, they're top players. It's a top alliance. And, and uh, then in all stars, I met you and I learned things I didn't know. Like I didn't know about, you could gem train your subs and you should need to when your when your subs are done. You need to have troops so that you lose all your buffs. I didn't know that. And, yeah, um, I learned a lot. You know, and when you're hooked on the game, you start seeking out knowledge everywhere you can. So it's amazing how much there is to learn about this game. Huge learning curve. Huge. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. you can't ever learn it, right? So mm-hmm. it kind of evolves. So now I'm into. I got to make my alts better farmers right because they're terrible so that's kind yeah. of my focus now is working on my alts yeah i had a very different experience when i started i you know facebook ad like i'm just you know buying a couple packs like you know raising the the keep levels and whatnot i knew nothing about nap or bubble or burn or attacking players i mean i was probably only like 15 20 mil power right but the whole game experience I had, you know, I was just like in my own little world building stuff, like no alliance, no nothing. Yeah. yeah and, me then, too. and then one morning I woke up and I saw fire and I saw all my power gone. And I'm like, what happened? I didn't even know how to check like battle reports. Like I just was yeah. like, I had no idea what took place. And then I, you know, I look in world chat and I see the two biggest players, like, you know, talking about the hit because I guess I was one I don't even know if I was one of the bigger players or not at that moment in time but I look at the battle reports and I'm getting tag team back and forth by the two biggest players and I was like oh hell no like that's that's what that's how I took off I was like oh yeah. hell no like uh-uh <laughs> so I got my revenge <laughs> yeah yeah me too I had I that's exactly what happened to me I woke up and my screen's red and I remember I had like 40 million of everything you know that I had opened up and I didn't know you weren't supposed to open it if you don't use it. And then I look up and there's nothing. And I'm like, Oh my God, what happened? I've been hit. I've been hit. I got no yeah. troops to hit anybody back. I'm, I'm, I'm fire everywhere. That's yeah. how I learned too. So, yeah. You, you and like, I got my revenge yeah. too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So um, you're a, you know, a pretty competitive all-star player, obviously. I know you did well in season four, season five. Any highlights from either or, you know, did you, did you like all oh, season, yep. season five was the highlight from season five was the team. And we, we came in with a good team plan. You know, our mm-hmm. goal was we got to, we got to win mm-hmm. so that we take the top places. You know, I don't care if I take, as long as I'm in the top five, I don't care if I'm first, fifth, yeah. I don't care if I'm 10th, as long as we win. Mm-hmm. and so nobody played selfish because the season four we had a guy play real selfish and we lost mm-hmm. and we shouldn't have we should have won that because mm-hmm. when you go against philip uh, he's so big that it's actually an advantage to go against them because you end up getting stacked with a bunch of big players but just not as huge as he is and he gets stacked with the smaller group of players because he's so big well he's just one guy right no matter yeah. how big he is he only yeah. sends 2.2 million archers at you he can't yeah. send more than me he can't send more than you he's huge he just his advantage is mm-hmm. you he don't ever have to heal if he didn't mm-hmm. want to mm-hmm. so it's actually a disadvantage to be as big as he is because of that he gets paired up with you know they they i believe what they do is they balance the teams so his at the time, I think he was 18 billion or 20 billion. And, mm-hmm. you know, our biggest was probably me at the, this season was, I don't know, 6 billion or something, 5 billion. Mm-hmm. And so, but we had a bunch of us at 4 billion, 3 billion, 4 billion. So we had a lot more troops as a group and more people we could fill rallies. We filled so fast 
on All Stars Five. I mean, we filled faster or as fast as we do on the C one account that I have. You know, on our weekly battlefields are, mm -hmm. you know, basically the C one all rallies. Like, yeah, C one battlefields are just like All Stars, just all rallies. Yeah, and C three battlefields are all solos. Right. That's yeah. We're just getting to the point now where that's why BK and I joined the same alliance. Mm -hmm. We want all the bigs on the whole server to join our alliance, get rid of all the drama, mm -hmm. get rid of all the politics. Who cares? It's about the server war and it's about battlefields. Mm -hmm. And we still get resistance guys that, oh, we're going to kill our alliance. We're asking you to join. And there's still that whole resentment from old alliances. So we, we renamed it. We rejoined it. And, yeah, um, we want all the big so that we can rally and and it's just a lot more fun. It's just and now that we're pushed up in the C2, you know, C2, I believe, and I don't know, is more like C1 where it's rallies. Yeah. So we can't rally like me. If you don't fill a rally, if, if you send him, if BK and I try to rally, it's actually worse than us soloing because we don't have oh, yeah. the the troop count right you don't get the it's just way worse so our goal is to get seven eight people we can rally two or three four times and then see what happens yeah it's a challenge that i run into on my server also like not not being able to rally um consistently right or enough players that have enough marches and in a normal you know bog or boc for the most part there's no reason to heal right like Right. Sometimes Correct. I do it depending on just for sportsmanship. Like if it's like a really close matchup and it's down to the last 20 minutes, you're like, ah, oh. like if I don't heal something, we're going to lose. Like, ah, oh. like, yeah. you know, the pressure. But um, yeah, I'll do that if, if we have to win and I need another hit and I'm on the troops, I'll heal a march, right? Of yeah. Whatever. And, but man, I try not to heal at all. And, yeah. What's well, the advantage of being eight billion? Is that you it gives you we'll less likelihood you don't have to? Yeah, but I never have to heal. If I enter, and in battlefields, I have a rule, man. I, my goal: if I leave with troops, I did something wrong. Yeah. I, you know, like to like in in all stars, and in getting your wings. You know, I've been lucky because we've had good matchups. And in, in the the key to all of that is like Chalones or however you say it. Yeah. And, and uh, BOC and BOG, and the key is the matchup, right? Yeah. So the last BOC right before All Stars, I was in the top twenty of everybody, the all the servers, because we had this, we matched up against the same group of people, and they healed. They were all one point four, one point nine, two billion. I would zero them, and they would heal right back up. Nice. So I would, I would zero them again. They would heal right back up. So I would get 20, 25,000 points every Beautiful. weekend. Yeah, and, you're one. You know, <laughs> you're gonna say you're one of the few players that has a uh, the 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 purple, pink, bat wings, BOG top 100. I think there's only um a couple people that I know of that are like say 300 plus, right? That have that achievement unlocked. So, so I wasn't asking me any any points or, or tips on it, but I guess it's, it's the it's luck, luck. Of the draw. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I, I mean, I'll give you the two things. I mean, I think it's luck. It, it you know the the game is a lot about luck too. Like, mm -hmm. especially I found out like in C1 and C2, I think it's worse. It's not what you know, it's who you know type deal. Mm -hmm. And it's just brutally bad. I hate that. But but it's all about the matchup. Like in, in Shalones, mm -hmm. we never lost. Yeah. Our, our, I was in Dom and we never lost. We won every week and we won big. And we didn't make make it to the, to the, to the, uh, pre, um, semifinals wow I'm, well how's this possible we never you know we were like two places out yeah and and i'm like i don't think their scoring system gave enough uh, uh credit to the wins and, and we but the problem was we never faced anybody we weren't big enough as an alliance mm -hmm. to face there was no points on the board right if we were the biggest and we were at 14 billion which isn't that big mm -hmm. and we were the biggest well there's just not points we zero everybody they're not going to heal there's just no points there so yeah so same with with bog bog again i got lucky we got big enough we were about 20 billion maybe or just 18 billion so we were getting good enough and because of my size 
being I was like five billion, we would get matchups where I would get a bunch of 1.4s, two billion people. That's a perfect size because yeah. if you can zero them, and you know they'll heal and they were healing and, and I was allowing me to get points. It's just it's just a total lot of luck of getting the right matchup. Yeah. And don't leave battlefield with any troops. Yeah, it, that's it's, good advice. Yeah. yeah. You get them back. As soon as you restart, they all come back for free. You know, so you don't have to spend any healing, any any resources. You just restart the app and they're all right there. So so leave battlefield empty. You know, people go, oh, I don't want to get zero. I don't I get zeroed all the time. Yeah. I, but it's not that I got zeroed, it's that I zeroed myself. Yeah. If, and like, did I really lose? I had 22,000 points. It was yeah. The team won by 10,000. I had 22,000. Did I really lose? Did you? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it got, I see guys though, competitors, you know, when we're playing Battlefield, that they don't lose any troops. They leave the same. I'm like, you know, first of all, it's about practice, seeing, you know, I like to experiment, see what, what marches do. Mm-hmm. I call it for science, you know, like, how's the siege going to do? What if I change this general? And I, I'm constantly changing stuff to see mm-hmm. how it does. And, uh, yeah, but I see guys, they're just, ah, oh, I, I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to get zero. I don't, it's like, leave with nothing. <laughs> you yeah. get them all back. <laughs> The worst for me is when you have, like, say, even like the two, three, four hundred mil players that can ghost everything. And, and even don't. though, it, it, yeah, well, no, at the end of it, like, this is to say that they spent like the majority of it, like, ghosting and just sending off marches back and forth, playing tag on, you know, a portal or whatnot, right? But the end of it, like, they still keep their troops ghosted in fear of losing them. Like, it's over. Like, why are you, like, what do you do? You can't, we're just coming here and just, you know, sit for two hours and, you know, I, that I'll never understand. Oh, know? it's, yeah. It's like, cause it, you know, you don't want to lose. Like if there's five minutes to go and I got troops and we got a narrow lead, I'm just going to sit tight. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let will play defensive. Let them hit me, which nobody ever hits me. So it it's kind of a waste, but if we have a big lead, I'm going crazy. I'm not, there's not a chance that I'm leaving with a troop. You know, I, you want the team to win just because it's a team thing, but, but you're right. I see the guys that are 200 million, 400 million that, you know, they leave, they got their, their, their 300. It's like, yeah. Okay. You didn't lose points for us, but you couldn't have lost enough to hurt us. Right. You, you, you're so if they lose everything, it's like me splatting a senior March on something. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about Shalons coming up. I don't know what happened last Shalons or however you pronounce it. Um, but I, my alliance didn't even qualify. I mean, we're like 11 bill power. I mean, I was putting up like six to eight K points a week. I, I don't yeah, know. We, we won a couple. Of, but no, we, we, we were in elite. Like we didn't even make the major league ranking, like the top 400 and or, or oh. 256. Like in, in this oh. continent break was like, I don't know, like. 350 to 400 like it, it was a really like favorable like continent break from where we were at but i mean i put i i was almost like in the continent i'm pretty sure i was in the top 100 but the, the team just wasn't i have no idea i don't know if it was a glitch i messaged ebony but yeah man we just we, we placed i think third or fourth in elite overall which you know big whoop <laughs> doesn't really doesn't, doesn't really matter right but uh Looking at it this time, it's uh, there's a break of 290. That's where they broke the the continents 290 to four and change. I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, we're in two now. We're in we're in two. Yeah, I'm Which, curious if they carry I think that it's over. 460 or something like that. Yeah, the 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 continent breaks did not pair like the, you know what they did last Shalon season. It's not like they kept the same continent break for season five All Stars. So it'd be curious to see how they you know, how to break the continent, you know, the, the good old boy network and, you know, point traders. Oh, uh, I am kind of hoping that more of the, you know, the player base that's that I got to experience like in season four, I hope it breaks a little bit more favorably where there's like more players in 400 um, than like the back end 200 servers. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of that stuff that was going on last all stars was more so like the players from, not, maybe not all of them, but I would say like 260 to 
early like late 200s is where oh, a big no, chunk of that no. stuff is going on yeah c1 i had my count in c1 that i couldn't play which is another gripe i have with ebony like why why do they all have to be at the same time why do the continents have to be at the same time because if a guy like me has an account on c1 so does bk mm-hmm. he has an account on c1 also and account on c3 and we both make all-stars on both accounts and i can't play both accounts yeah so two cell phones <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I have i have multiple devices but you know you just can't pay attention to two mm-hmm. I, I i did it i did it for for uh Chalons. i played both um mm-hmm. and was fine but Chalons is a little different but anyway like my c1 account i had a guy played a good player and i have a strong account a very strong account my c1 account defensively is it's very strong. It's like a 900 cab HP. It's really, mm-hmm. it's, and not one hit. Nobody hit me. Nothing, not a thing. He, he, he I didn't make the, uh, the semis. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and, it, and it's just, you watch who, who made it. It's everybody hitting their buddies and it's a good old boy. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And, mm-hmm. and um, I don't know if there's, uh, I didn't, play it so i couldn't see any of the point trading but i heard there was a lot of point trading and mm-hmm. and uh and if i would have played that account i guarantee you i would have made it because i would have left there with no troops because <laughs> once it got to the point where it was the good old boy network and guys on my team weren't helping me yeah then i then it's then then it's oh well the heck with you guys if you're not gonna help um and you guys are point trading then you know i got 180 million troops i'll leave with nothing and I'll take a bunch down with me. So I would hopefully, you know, made it, but I didn't. So, and I needed it more on that. I should have did the opposite. I should have played that account mm-hmm. and let somebody play my C3 account. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the C3 account is, you know, the account I started from scratch and it started right. me. So, and I wanted to be with BK. So it was, was that planned did you guys so was it random that you two became on the same server or was it just kind of no organized no 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 you mean on the same 446 no we we met each other on the server okay cool Cool. we were we were arch enemies right like he was in the i call it the hatfield mccoys he was in the uh, alliance called 999 i was an alliance called dom Mm -hmm. and we were the arch enemies and him and I were always friends, but our, our alliances are arch enemies, right? Yeah. And um, and that's part of the game, right? And never take it personal. It's just, that's what's great about the game. You gotta have a you gotta have a dragon slay or you don't need dragon slayer. So yeah, that's what motivates you to build bigger and do better and fight. So we but him and I were always professional and friends and cordial and we became friends. I've learned a lot from him. He's learned a lot from me. We learned a lot together. We both started at the same time. We knew nothing. Like I didn't know what Ebony was and never heard of it till I joined. Mm-hmm. Never played a game before till I joined mm-hmm. ever. So it was all new to me. Like I didn't know how to refine. I didn't know. I didn't know that you could hit cancel. <laughs> I think it was my first SPS or maybe all first all stars that um because i was like man i got these good refines and i, I want to improve one but if i do i'll end up with sub sub gold or something and they're like no you can hit cancel i'm like oh you can i just thought it went back in the next one would be the same like a do-over like groundhog day yeah and, and uh once i was hip to that my refining went way up yeah so, i didn't know probably a good 30 days in the coining and growing I didn't even know you could lock refines. I just thought you had to uh, get lucky on four rolls at once. <laughs> I didn't know you could click that little lock and, you know, use jebs. Yeah. So, yeah. Same, yeah. same thing. My, I have my no idea. Yeah. My first SVS, the guy, because I was the biggest on our first SVS at maybe 400 million. Yeah. And uh, the guy on our other team, that's the guy that ended up helping me get on the other account. He's like, dude, I'm looking at your generals. You got them all refined rise. And I told him the same exact thing what you just said. He goes, you can lock them. I'm like, what do you mean lock them? Because do you see the little padlock? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh really? It's so obvious too. It's yeah. like right once in your you, face. <laughs> you know it. It's know it. Like, oh, that's what that lock is for. Yeah. Oh, how handy is that? Boy, I wish you would have told me that like three weeks ago. Yeah. It's uh one of those things you don't like to admit, but you know, you can look back and laugh at it, you know. 
um oh, god knows how many refined stones i lost doing that oh, oh man. and 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 like uh, bk and i were talking a couple of weeks ago about you know if i could do over like the the stuff i wasted like i i gold spec the barbarossa you know like why did i do that like you know those those fourth level refines are so are um those fourth level rooms oh yeah mortal stones are so hard yeah. to come by and like i wasted on a barroso and now i you know i needed it on a a better gen you know i would have and it but you know you live and learn but yeah freedom you know that was, you know i created the account and i needed a name i was like ah that sounds like a pretty cool war name right so i'm like oh man they got william wallace in the game so like i spent a couple hundred thousand gems like i finally got them you know cultivate them i didn't Max Beckham, but he was enough to be the number one general on the server. And then people started making fun of me, like, oh, what do you like this? You know, I think it really put a spotlight on how little I actually knew about this game. I'm like, what's wrong with William Wallace? Like, you know, that's yeah. my thing. I got a theme going on here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that's what, yeah. So, so like, we, the reason I did the, like, I learned when I started, I just said, oh, well, the, the top generals on the server were all Barbarossas. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's the guy then, obviously. That's what all the guys that know what they're doing are doing, mm -hmm. which there's a lot of people that know what they say they know what they're doing and don't in Ebony, right? A lot of people give you advice that really have no business giving advice. Yeah. So, you know, you, you got to be careful who you ask and you have to trust but verify everything you're told. Like, it's yeah. crazy. I, I talk a lot about that on the channel. Um, I, I fell for it, like, you know, the, like the mentor I had, I mean, he's not a bad guy, but it never dawned on me. Like, like, so somebody's like, Hey, you need to do this. And then you go and do that. Right. And then you realize that I just made, you know, if you had to put a price tag on it, maybe it's a hundred dollar decision or a $500 decision or a thousand, right. Like depending on the commitment yeah. on what you're building. Right. So I was taking advice from somebody that was, I don't think it ever had ever been like a couple hundred mil in power. I never, I didn't, realize that at the time though like, i just say hey this person knows more than i do they must know exactly what they're talking about right um so yeah like you definitely got to be careful who you take advice from like big time so i had a really bad experience but um oh, some yeah. people don't um, yeah so many people when they first tell you oh build cap build cap build cap and i'm like so i built cap so mm -hmm. all of a sudden then all of a sudden the first s3s comes around and i'm wondering why i'm splatting so bad and not doing well well because i'm so cap heavy i'm in target so mm -hmm. you know and that's not that the guy told me wasn't malicious he just didn't know yeah. enough to give advice and if mm -hmm. you don't know enough to give advice you shouldn't give it and if you don't want to play pvp building cab is great because you can kill all the monsters just you can't really fight well because you're so susceptible to a, a hit so i guess the advice was probably good but not for PVP. And yeah, I have always pulling the strings. PvP. Yeah. If it's a veteran player restarting, they know that they need, you know, rally runners, right? So they're going to want you to, to build caps. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. So they can tag on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best piece of advice I ever gotten, I kid you not, was this, uh, this guy named WMJ. And he was a non-factor. He didn't really coin that much, wasn't active at all. <laughs> but I think he noticed that I was like the, the major coiner on the server and i didn't know him at all but he messaged me and he's like hey build all archers get a level eight, you know eight to ten monarch you know range attack and build your archer attack and that's it and that's what i did because i mean and but it worked because when svs rolled around whoo like you know i was yeah. you know i was the cab killer right like i was the one cleaning up because of that so right. um yeah definitely got to be careful who you take advice from um you being eight bill power um obviously sir philip you know he's you know, the big i i can't think of other than north star on early server 300s i don't think there's anybody i don't think there's anybody else in the conversation uh, and the reason why i bring that up is you know being eight bill power i gotta believe that you didn't have a game plan on on if i asked you three months ago are you gonna be eight billion right now I, you'd probably say no <laughs> or no, i don't, or, I I don't thought know I, I thought i'd stop at four i thought i could stop at four yeah, because the but then I realized the troop cut. So I think I'm going to stop at ten, and that stupid rage king. If I could get that, <laughs> still searching for him. It's like they know. Last question I have for you: So eight billion, 
going to go to 10 billion. Any, uh, any other game goals or, you know, things that you want to accomplish in your, your Ebony career, if you will? Oh, I want to get, um, I was on the kick of getting all my subs at 35 until I got my, my main sub at 33 and realized that it cost 350,000 gems to heal it up. That I'm not, I'm thinking after your video came out the other day, I saw it yesterday. Yeah. Um, I, that, I think that goal's done with. I don't think I'm going to, going to go for the, the high subs because it, I don't have enough, you know, you'll, I'll run out of gems quick at yeah. 300,000 each to gem them up. And, and sometimes I have to gem them up there in SBS or uh, Battlefield because um, you don't have time to wait. Yeah. Um, obviously I want Layden, right? So who doesn't? Yep. And um, no, just keep having fun, right? Yeah. I messaged uh, Sir Philip. And I was like, hey, like 35 subs, like what's your training capacity and what's the cost to heal them? Um, 600K, because the new research, it gives you extra training capacity. Mm -hmm. 600K gems to do a full instant instant gem heal. And he's like, yeah, I'm being a little bit more cautious on how I attack now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, heard, I, heard that about, I heard that about him on, uh, on the last All-Stars, that it was costing him at the time four point five million gems to heal all oh, yeah. the subs so yeah. you know you go through a lot those gems you know there's a lot you can do with those gems like i would like to get my all my monarch gear up higher level right? 15 so, yeah yeah that would be oh my god that'd be it's so hard though like I, i'm at a level Ugh. 11 11 for a couple and 10 for most of it yeah and to get to 15 I, that would be just oh my god what wonderful but i don't know if i'll ever live long enough to get that many gems because I can't imagine it's so hard to go from seven to nine to go from commitment. You just got to decide, Hey, this is what I'm doing. And then you just, you, know, you, you, you put all your effort into doing it. That's really the only way anybody that's, that's rocking level 15. I mean, I don't even know if people have been playing for five years can even get that. I mean, that's have, that, have you ever seen, what's the highest you've ever seen on, on, on a piece? I, I've seen, never seen a piece that was like, you know, over, probably 11 but i do know one common thing that pops up is um this range player named aries from continent one that's got 1400 percent and mm -hmm. the only way mm -hmm. you're getting 1400 percent is if you're probably pretty close to level 15 monarch i don't think it's he's over 14 now yeah well then yeah he's, there you he's go. Up because of the new boss he's over yeah 14. yeah so he's, he's, he's got to have that yeah i'm i'm close on my 446 account because i got all jabs yeah. i'm like like 1380 i think if i major buff up on battlefield if i use the battlefield buff i'm over 14. did you but, switch to the wonder three dragon for your range march or are you using no i'm using the the Ooh, when you get laden when you get laden it's going to be even better oh oh it's going to be a beast right be so nasty cool. i'm i'm thinking about switching because my my uh my knee hog is at 10 but i but man he does so good on my on my cab gen yeah that's the other frustrating thing is is my cab gen is really strong, right? I think, and as strong as anyone I've seen. And I can't kill a phoenix with zero wounded. And um, I don't understand how I'm sending 315 million power if I solo it, or 290 if I mm -hmm. rally it. And I can't kill a phoenix with zero wounded. I'm like, I've tried everything. So that's comforting. That's kind of that's that's my goal is to uh is to get like i meant like seven million or, or seven thousand wounded now my goal is to get to zero right and yeah masrell she's at um she says she gets two thousand or something like that wow i'm, I'm nowhere near, near that like i'm and, and my general is better than hers in my opinion like it's stronger yeah um so it's there's something else i'm missing i don't know if you know, so I'm, that's that's kind of my quest too. Is I want to get to where I could get zero wounded on a phoenix. I think that would be cool by that time. And the bullshit where they say they're not going to come up with level forty that that's bullshit. They're coming with level forty. I don't know when, but yeah, I think it's a matter of when. I think I mean this tech is almost like the the difference in precursor. Yeah, to forty. Yeah. Plus, if you look at the wheel, you know when you when you train troops, there's it's, if you look at there's a wheel, right? Yeah. Now there's a slot at the, between uh, 14s and 1s where it never used to be a slot between 14 and 1s. Yeah. So 
they're prepping for it. So I, I think they got a lot of negative backlash and I think it's kind of probably a bad thing overall. Oh, yeah. I think it, again, it'll separate the haves and the have nots. And then, I mean, the resources you can collect right now, if they, they would have to adjust that. If they adjust sure. the way that you can, how you can grow in the game to match the increased like resource requirements, like, you know, like K35 is what, like 3.8 billion ish per oh, resource. Sure. Right. So to yeah. go, if, you know, if they keep the same multiplier on like moving up keeps and they keep the game as is, then that's just going to be, that's going to be insane, you know, but if they adjust it and make resources more available, that might be a good thing, you know, where other people can you know, grow faster. Right. But that's just what makes common, you know, that's common sense to me, but that doesn't mean that Ebony's going to follow that logic. Right. Right. I'm sure they, I'm sure they got some plan where you have resources. And then, so then it's like, what it does is it waters down everything. It, yeah. you know, the same people are going to win. Yeah. And that's what I try to tell people. The same guys that are winning are going to win because They'll be that much higher. Everybody else will be at 35 that were at 30s and 33s. They'll easily get to 35, as you pointed out, because resources won't be the stumbling block. Right. But 35 will be so weak compared to, you know, send T16s or T15s, whatever they end at. You know, all of a sudden your T14s are, you know, weak. So it's all relative. Like, I don't think it changes the winners. And it probably gives them a bunch of money because the coiners will coin. Mm -hmm. Again, like like right now, I don't need to coin at all, right? I can just stop, and right. I kind of have, you know. Right. So, 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 I guess it would help a little bit, but I think it hurt. I think a, I think a lot of people would finally get frustrated and quit. Yeah, um, you got to have obtainable goals, and if you put something too far out of sight, I mean, most people that are thirty three, they're not even aware like what it even costs to go to K thirty five. Like they, just, oh, they think it's, it's, they think it's no big deal. Yeah. Or they know it's, or they're just like, hey, well, I'll kind of cross that bridge when I get there. But if you actually sit down and like show the exact like resource amounts, oh. and then you start calculating, like depending days? on how much you coin, speed days? yeah, yeah, not just speed days, but like I that. Think it's a, yeah, I think it's eleven years between all the buildings to go from thirty four to thirty five. It's like, yeah, stupid amount. That's the one that you asked one. My one goal, Ebony. If you get to a certain level of tech, I don't know if it's if you finish if you're VIP 20 or whatever, somehow come up yeah. with a VIP 21 and make one of the benefits server migration token. Yeah. So one That's time you have a one time migration. I don't know, maybe make a VIP 21. But that way, guys like me and you that are stuck on servers where look, I'm eight billion, BK's five point. Five billion or whatever he is, yeah. Um, only because he just wants to stop. He's probably sitting on enough resources to go to ten billion. Yeah. Other merchant. Um. Uh. If we, you know, but then then after him, it's one billion. Yeah. And then there's only one of those or two of those, two of those now. And then after that, it's seven hundred. So there's such a big difference that on my server, I don't ever bubble. I don't need to bubble. I don't also I don't attack anybody because why? Yeah, right? you don't need but, it. Yeah, they don't, you know, unless they got a billion of everything opened up, which nobody does. I ain't attacking anybody because there's no sense just hitting people to hit them. Every now and then I will just because I get bored, but I don't like to do that. I agree with that. Yeah. I would, but on my other server, <laughs> that's the different. The one ten. Yeah. If somebody drops a bubble on that server, their life expectancy is like thirty seconds. Yeah. And. I don't care how big they are. They get rallied. They get zero. It's evil. It's evil. It's <clears throat> evil. Yeah. My and server. Our, our alliance okay. is the one doing all the zeroing. So I, yeah. I don't have to. <laughs> I came to the realization that like participating in kill event, I'm like, man, I could erase somebody's effort. Like what took them three yeah. or four months to build. And it, and it cost me like a very minor heel, heel bill. And what am I getting? Like the what thirty or forty thousand gems from Kill Event? Like it's just yeah. not, you know, like the bigger guys. Like, do you really need gems that bad? Do I need thirty thousand? <laughs> do I need thirty thousand gems? No. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's and it's boring. And what did you really prove? Like, like in everything, it's not the reason we wanted to win season five team event mm -hmm. wasn't to win. 
was to beat Philip, right? Because he's got like yeah. the perfect yeah. account. Like Philip's account is the perfect account, right? Yeah. K35 subs, everything's gold specced. He's it is everything he's got's per all level 10 dragons, everything you name it, his account's perfect. I mean, every building's 35, which my account now is I'm trying to make it, you know, my goal is be like Philip's account, but not not quite as big. Mm-hmm. But you know, his account's perfect. So beating him was our goal, right? Not not because we don't like the guy or have the utmost respect for him, but to beat him was the goal. You know, if it wasn't for him, if you beating crappy people mm-hmm. isn't any fun. <laughs> beating the best is fun so oh absolutely so our kill our kill events on our server became our in the same first of all we never hit each other before because we could never beat each other and we couldn't rally each other so mm-hmm. there was no sense of us hitting each other because it's just a you know a, a billion of everything to heal yeah absolutely so. yeah yeah well listen man it was i really appreciate you coming on here and giving an insight into your you know your game experience and you know a lot of information about your keep and the way that you view things so it's really cool that you know you took the time to you know come on here really cool man like it's uh, you're definitely an asset to the community so i really appreciate you you know coming on and you know sharing everything that you have i, lo- I love your channel by the way i think it's great i Woo, that was a ton of fun. As always, appreciate it, Top Shot. Uh, YouTube community, let's drop some comments. Let's give some love for Top Shot coming on and talking about, you know, the ups and downs of being an Ebony player and just, you know, keeping it real and honest. So uh, more to come, guys. You guys have a good evening and stay tuned. More interviews are coming.